It was nearly three years in the making. Are you going to ring a bell or something at nine? What's your plan at nine? Alaska officials finally released thousands of pages of emails sent and received by Sarah Palin during her first 21 months as governor. Reporters crowded into a small state office building to pick up the boxes and began pouring through more than 24,000 pages. The request for these emails dates back to 2008, September 2008, which is right after she was uh, named to be the vice presidential candidate. And we're only getting these now, which it's timely still because um, she's still considering a run for the presidency next year. And the original request was part of a vetting process. And that process is still ongoing. Palin said she was unfazed by the release of the emails, saying there are no more rocks to be turned over about her life as governor. I think um, after reviewing these emails, um, the public will get an insight on the issues that Governor Palin faced on a day to day basis, and they'll also get a, a feel for how she governed the state of Alaska. Early reviews of the emails showed a governor dealing with complaints, rumors, and gossip about her family. They range from Palin responding to claims she didn't buckle her son Trigg properly in his car seat to one about a tanning bed at the governor's mansion she said she and her daughters used but paid for themselves. Requests have also been made for the emails Palin wrote during her last 10 months in office. State officials haven't even begun reviewing those documents yet. Haven Daily, the Associated Press, Juneau, Alaska.